Dylan's Dylan's home espresso bar. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you guys are around the world. I have my wife here, so if you guys have any questions while we are doing this live, you guys can go ahead and just put them on there and my wife will ask them as we go. However, we did just get a brand new espresso bar, uh, espresso, bar espresso machine on the channel. Uh, so I do wanna say this is a loner. This is not for me to keep. So I do wanna give a huge shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet. So they are out of Michigan. So again, if you guys have any kind of coffee or espresso needs, make sure to check out Joe's uh, Espresso Outlet for, um, for any of that. So again, a uh, huge thank you and shout out to Joe once again for sending me this machine to review for you guys and to see is this machine worth upgrading from your machine that you currently own or machine that you may have the, a desire for that you maybe will upgrade to this machine in the future. So I will let you guys know what I feel about this machine. You guys can let me know what you feel about the machine and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go from there. So the price point is coming in at about $1,700 to $1,800 before tax. Um, it is a heat exchanger. Uh, a heat exchanger does allow you to pull a shot and froth milk at the same time. Uh, I don't know too many people who do that, especially at home users. However, uh, it definitely is a great machine to be able to use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I will go ahead and cover that here momentarily. So uh, I will reveal the machine in just a second. What's that? Oh, okay. Okay, so the beans that we are using today are Good Brothers beans. Uh, this is Ethiopia Argo, uh, which is actually one of my wife's favorites. Uh, this one, actually, the roast date is August 23rd. So you might be asking, well, why are they so old? Well, I actually got these and put them in the freezer. Uh, I took them out last night, and I'm going to be pulling shots of them today. So having shots that are having shots, having beans in the freezer really allows you to keep your beans fresh a lot longer and it just kind of stalls the uh, aging process of the beans. So uh, we were going to be doing our best to dial in the beans. I have not pulled a shot on this machine yet. So I want to make sure that you guys see it firsthand and we are going to dial it in together. Now, this is a little bit different than my normal machines. So like the dual boiler that I have, I can usually just hold the, uh, the double shot and it'll pretty much let you, me pre-infuse as much as I want. I can set it and then also with the Breeze to Express, same way. Uh, this one, you can control the pre-infusion, so it's gonna be a little bit different for me, uh, which we'll play around with as well. So uh, we're just gonna be pulling a shot today. I will show you the steam power and also the hot water spout as well, but we are going to save that for another video, for frothing anyways. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the video, to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smash that thumbs up, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already because there's 80% of you who watch my videos who have not subscribed. So it really, it really helps and supports me and my channel to make more content for you guys. So again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also turn on those push notifications, that bell button, so you never miss another one of my videos and you always get notified the second I go live. Uh, last but not least, before we get to that new machine, I know you guys are probably dying to see what machine it is, make sure to check out dylanshomespressobar.com where you can find all my merchandise. I have hats, t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, and we also have sweatshirts. Um, so yeah, just make sure to stay tuned. We also sell the Bean Vault, and also the knockbox as well. So again, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Appreciate you guys. And anything that we raise money-wise for Super Chats is gonna go directly to the channel. So here it is. So what is the machine? So this is a Quick Mill Evo. Uh, it is an E61 uh, group. So this is definitely a really, really nice machine. Uh, I'm definitely going to be really excited to review this for you guys uh, to the upcoming weeks. But let me just give you guys a better angle here. So I'll just keep it here. So pretty much the really cool features on this machine is it does give you the option here of this little switch to either go on one or two. And that's just going to allow you to uh, just, you can turn the steam off if you're not going to use the steam or the hot water spout 
or you can just have the power just at the group. So one thing to mention, make sure to be careful and don't touch any of this. I mean, this is really hot. It does have a warning sign here, uh, but there is no warning signs on these two guys. And this is like extremely, I already burned myself on this thing. It is hot. I mean, it, it burned my hand for real. I mean, this is, you know, for real, it is pretty, pretty hot there. So don't touch that for very long. And when it says caution hot, it actually means caution hot. No, this doesn't have a caution hot. Only this oh. does. So yeah, but the cool thing is really quick, I'll show you guys the steam pressure before we get going. So I'll give you guys this angle. So really nice steam pressure as you guys can see. Uh, definitely um, pretty good for the money. And then if I take you guys over here, I will show you guys the hot water spout. So it comes out pretty good as well. And the nice thing is, is you can touch these things right after they get done and they're not hot, except for that, that's really hot as you can see. Um, so yeah, don't touch that. I just touched it again and it burned myself once again. I'll learn one of these times. All right, so it does, let me take you guys off of this here so I can give you guys a better look. So it does have the uh, pressure gauge here and also the pressure for the steam wand and for the hot water spout. So right now, uh, we're sitting at about uh, 1.2 for the pressure for the steam. And then here it just sits idle at about three bars of pressure until you actually lift this up and go through. And I'll just show you guys here really quick. So this has been heating up. When these are both green, it allows you to steam and, um, and pull your shot at the same time. But I'll show you guys here really quick at the group. So by pulling this up halfway, it allows for pre-infusion. So I'll, I'll show you guys what that steam means here a second, and then here's full pressure. Okay, so you guys saw that steam come out as soon as I sh uh, pulled the shot up here, as soon as I activated the lever for the group. And that steam is because you wanna make sure to get that steam pressure out and that's because it is a heat exchange machine and with a heat exchange machine you pretty much have to um, release some of that pressure because if you don't release some of that steam it's going to be way too hot for the shot so it's not espresso temperature unless you release that steam first so you see all that steam come out put that down and then lock that into the group and you are all ready to go but I've heard some really good things about the E61 group and I've never actually used one before. So just as excited as you guys are to, uh, to use it. So, so isn't the same as Hoon's? No. So Hoon's is a dual boiler. Mine is not a dual boiler machine. Um, that is actually a heat exchanger, but we are going to go ahead and prepare our shot. So we're going to do 18 grams. I'm going to use the niche. Yeah, we're going to use 18 grams. We'll go 18.2. And we'll see where it goes. Like I said, I have not even pulled a shot on this. So we're going to start it at 11. So not really sure what exactly is the best starting point, but we'll figure that out together. We'll dial it in together with you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, you guys can support the channel through Super Chat, Super Sticker, also through my Patreon account. I also have Dylan'sHomeEspressoBar.com and my Etsy store. Anything that you purchase, all the proceeds will go directly back into the channel for more products to review for you guys that I can purchase with uh, the money that I earn. So again, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate every one of you. If you guys can all just smash that thumbs up button as we're going along here, it would really help my channel more than you know. That is the best way to support the channel. So there's 18.1, 18.2 grams. So we're going to go ahead and take that and bring it back over here. Jose said, sorry, I missed the heat exchanger part. Oh, no problem. All right. So just make sure that everything is all nice and dry like normal. What is the name of this machine? This is a Quick Mill Anita Evo. It is Italian made. It's a heat exchanger. Mm, Italiano. 
All right, so here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and use our WDT. I probably could even put 20 grams in or 19 grams in, but we're just gonna stick to the 18 grams for right now. I didn't know how big this porta filter was, so I just wanted to stick to lower. So we're gonna be using the Normcore. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out my uh, video on Normcore. Definitely am really, really happy with Normcore and their products so far. I think they do a great job. Here is the spring-loaded tamper. So pretty excited for this as well. This is definitely a must with your espresso bar. All right. So we got it all nice and compact. Probably should go a little bit more uh, grams because you see there's a lot of room in that basket. So I might even do 20 grams on the next shot, but we will see how the shot goes here in a second. Like I said, first time pulling a shot on this machine, so we'll see how it goes. Get rid of all that steam. You don't want any of that steam. Way too hot for espresso there. So we are going to weigh it. This one does not have a shot clock on it. And we are going to use our crew glass so you guys can see the shot. Let's see. So we are gonna just pre-infuse for about five seconds. Now we'll ramp it up. All right, so obviously it is uh, a bit too fine, which is okay. Have we you will used just. This kind of machine before? I have not. All right, so there is our 40 grams. I like to do 40 grams. This was in about 44 seconds. So again, we are gonna have to um, make that a little bit coarser. So right now, we are sitting at grind size 12 on our niche, but I'll pull it back out here really quick. I'll give you guys a taste test for you. So cheers. Shot looks pretty good. Show you guys the shot here. So shot quality is pretty good there. Nice, rich and crema. So definitely if you guys have espresso beans and you guys order way too many of them or you guys get some sent to you, uh, make sure to 100% put them in the freezer because it does, um, it does make it last a lot longer. My screen's a little crooked here. Okay, so cheers. It actually tastes pretty good. Um, I can say that the shot is a bit over extracted, but it does still taste very, very well. One thing that I can notice right away with the, um, the machine is the shot is way hotter than with my dual boiler. Um, it almost mimics, I feel like, the Linea Mini when it comes to shot quality for uh, temperature wise. Uh, I definitely say this is a bit hot, so um, I would say to release more of the steam when uh, before you pull the shot, just because I do feel like that is a big um, a big game changer, big learning curve when you go from a, a heat exchange to a dual boiler, because a dual boiler is just so much easier to control. Um, but this is um, this is okay, especially when you have to just temperature surf, but it's not too too bad. But again, shot's really, really good. I am gonna go ahead and uh, pull another shot for you guys because uh, I definitely think that it could be a little bit over extracted. So let me just go ahead and take this out for you guys. So I do not have the, uh, my dogs are barking in the background. 
they're mad at me because they're locked up in their room right now. Okay. Hello, welcome to the channel. Okay, so right now I'm just cleaning the porta filter and we're gonna go ahead and prepare for another shot. Uh, like I said, that one was a bit over extracted, so we're just gonna dial this in together. All right, so what I like to do is, I'm just gonna show you guys, after you pull a shot, I think it's very, very important and not a lot of people do this, but if you look, you see how dirty it is down there? Uh, I definitely recommend that you clean those grinds out because I just think that it's a lot nicer when you keep everything nice and clean. So what I like to do is after I pull a shot, this is definitely not something that you have to do, but I like to take my rag and just kind of clean the group a little bit just to keep everything nice and clean. And then it just makes for a cleaner shot and just easier when you do your maintenance on the machine. So. All right, <clears throat> so again, there's 16 of you guys tuning in. Welcome to the channel. Make sure if you guys are new, hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys. So we are going to be using 19 grams. We'll go 19. You know what, let's go 20. I think 20 will be good. I think it can hold 20 grams. I would not recommend changing variables like this, especially when pulling the shot, but I am gonna go, um, I'm gonna go to 13 on the grinder. So the last shot was over extracted, so it was too fine. Um, so actually I might go to 14 because I'm adding some, uh, some beans in there. Again, that shot was pretty good though. I mean, that definitely get a lot of the tasting notes from the bean on that last shot, but I do want it to be a little bit better extracted. All right. So we got 19.9 in or out. So we'll take that and we'll come back over here. Well, welcome, Jay. Welcome to the channel. Happy to have you here. All right, so 20 grams is gonna be almost perfect, I think. I think the uh, 18 grams, I kinda sold it a little short. But definitely, if you guys have not heard of Normcore products, definitely recommend that you check them out. They are very, very nice. Just did a review on it. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out my review as well on the items. Got a nice tamped basket there. Make sure it's all nice and level. Like I said, this is a heat exchanger. So just make sure that you release this heat. So I'm gonna zoom in here so you guys can see this. But when I go and turn this on, you're gonna see a lot of steam and you're gonna hear that pressure. That's what you don't want. You wanna release that before you pull your shot because it's too hot for espresso. So if you see all that steam coming out, you wanna release that. So I'm just gonna let it run for a second, turn it down, lock it in. I like to clean the drip tray so that way my scale doesn't get all wet. And then I will put my cup in there. I do think it's weird how close this is to the front of the scale, which is kind of weird. So turn that on, pre-infuse for about six seconds, ramp it up, and we'll see what kind of shot we get. Beautiful looking shot there. Really good looking shot.
So like I said, I pre-infused for about five seconds. Victor really loves that cup. Awesome. That is a beautiful shot. So thank you, Victor. I'm, All right, so I am really happy with this shot here. I'm gonna bring it over here just to show you guys. So let me just, let me bring you guys over here. So here is the shot. Really nice shot quality there, really rich in crema. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste test for you guys. Oh gosh, that was really close. Whew. Ooh, he's got a shot on my feet. Wow. <laughs> if you guys have feet fetish, um, you're welcome. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, no. Okay, so this one's definitely a lot brighter. Uh, when I mean by brighter, it's a lot more uh, sweeter, acidic almost. Not really acidic, because acidic is kind of a bad word to use, but definitely you can taste a lot of the beans out of this. No, I weighed it. I weighed the shot out. Yeah, definitely weigh the shot out. It's just really hard to put the scale because it has the scale has to almost go to the edge of the tray, which I'll show you guys that again in a second. But again, cheers. It's really good. Yeah, so really good shot there. Uh, I'll finish the rest of those. Don't worry. I think Victor may want you to attach the link in the description. To. The cup. Oh, okay. Because I said that we bought it from. All right, so let me show you guys something that I am not really fond of so far, but it's not like it's a big issue. I'm just, it's more of like a, um, a really tiny, minor yeah, minor issue for me. But if you see this whole drip tray, right? It, it's a big drip tray and you have all this room back here. But if you have your, if you have your scale, like I would normally, you would think, it the cup has to sit right here so in order for the cup to actually sit on the scale it's got to come all the way at the end which this is just like a minor thing it's not even a big deal but it's just weird how it's got to be all the way up front not a big deal like i said it's not like it's going to alter the shot quality or anything but again really good i've really enjoyed this machine so far uh, really nice steaming pressure. So if you guys missed it, this is a no burn steam uh, steam wand. So as you're steaming, you can hold it. it does not get hot at all, which is really, really nice. Uh, it is a two hole. It does come with a three hole or a four hole steam wand. Um, again, this is also a hot water spout that works very, very well. Uh, it has the nice little display here to where you can turn this knob to the two or the one. So it's ready right there, as you can see, both green lights. It does take about 25 minutes to actually start up, to build up pressure, to actually steam and use the hot water spout just because it is a heat exchanger. Um, the, some of the equipment that this machine comes with, I'll show you guys now. So it comes with a single spouted portafilter. Uh, I haven't really used this really that much. Uh, even with my La Morzacco or my Breville. It comes with a group head cleaner brush, which is nice touch as well. Uh, it also comes with a wooden quick mill tamper. So also a really cool touch. Uh, I've just really gotten to use, uh, use the uh, Normcore product here, so that's why I use that. But it also comes with that. Uh, something else is obviously it comes with the double spouted porta filter, which is a nice touch as well. Uh, I know a couple people do, oh man, that is just really hot. Do not touch any of that. Uh, remove that bolt or that nut and you can make it a, I believe even with the heat exchanger, you can make that a flow profile adjustment knob. I'm not sure. So definitely let me know if I'm wrong, but let me tell you this cup up here, this cup warmer is really hot. I mean, this whole machine is hot. Uh, the only thing that's not hot on this machine is obviously the steam wand, the hot water spout, the handle for obviously uh, turning on the pressure at the group. And this, the back side here, even the back plate here is extremely hot. Like you can't touch this longer than a couple seconds before you burn yourself. Um, all this is hot. 
So yeah, everything is hot except for this, this, and the handles. So just be careful with the machine. It is, like I said, hot, but it works very, very well. Really excited to uh, use this machine a little bit more on the channel. I am going to be uploading a unboxing of the machine. So if you guys wanna see the unboxing, that will be posted uh, either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then also I do have a video posting on Friday for a workflow Friday using the Normcore products again, um, just because to show my love and how much I absolutely loved it. So I do wanna say, a huge special thanks to Joe from Espresso Outlet again for sending me this loaner machine to review for you guys. Uh, this is a great way if you guys are looking to upgrade from your previous setup to, uh, to look at the machines that either I or another YouTuber, Hoon, um, currently have. So we will be getting different machines in. It'll give you guys a better perspective on which machine you would be likely to upgrade to. So again, if you guys are in the market for any kind of espresso uh, machines or anything coffee related or espresso related, make sure to check out Espresso Outlet. Uh, like I said, Joe is an incredible guy, especially for sending us these machines to review. Um, definitely did not have to do that, but we are very, very appreciative that he has. So again, thank you so much. A lot more videos to come on this guy. I'm going to be comparing this live with the Linea Mini, the Breville Dual Boiler, also with the Barista Express, and also the Flare Pro 2. So a lot to come. We're going to have this machine for about a month. So again, thank you so much to Joe once again for sending me this machine to review. I am really, really looking forward to uh, letting you guys know is $1,700 worth it for this machine. Uh, should you wait and save up a little bit more for a dual boiler, is heat exchange okay? Like I said, with heat exchanger, you can still pull a shot and frog milk at the same time, which is nice. It just takes a little bit longer, uh, a little less pressure as well because they don't have their, uh, their own uh, boilers. Uh, you have this guy over here sitting at about 1,500 and this one's sitting at about 1,700. So $200 difference. Is this a better machine for $200? I can tell you initially, the build quality of this machine is a lot heavier than the build quality of the Breville. This is more of like a nicely designed, um, like a plastic and uh, stainless steel, I guess you can call it. Uh, or not stainless steel, like, a, like, I don't even know what this is considered. I don't even know, but this is all stainless steel, really nice. No, this is stainless steel. Uh, so again, thank you guys all so much for tuning in. If you guys have not already, smash that like button. There's 19 of you guys in here. There's 10 likes. I know it sounds repetitive. It just really helps my channel be grown and to be seen. So again, if you guys have any questions, my wife's going to tell me now, and I'm going to answer you guys' questions. Um, not questions, but comments. Ramel J said, a smaller scale could be a better fit. Example, Akaya Pixis? Pixis. Pixies. Oh, um, yes. So the only problem with that is a lot of glasses are too big, especially if you want to do two at a time. It's really hard to fit two glasses on that, which I know most of us, if we're just putting it into like a shot glass, it's not a big deal. But the price of those scales are really expensive. Um, I mean, I think that's even more than the Lunar. So, and I paid about two twenty five for that. Um, and then missed the brand name of this heat exchanger. So this is a um, a Anita Evo Quick Mill. So this is a Quick Mill Anita Evo. Uh, it's also made in Italy. Really, really nice heat exchanger. It comes in at about seventeen hundred dollars US. Um, so that's the name of the espresso machine. Lots of coffee fun ahead. Absolutely. Can't wait for the comparison with the Breville dual boiler. I'll you check the Etsy. Thanks. Control, yes. Oh, okay. So yeah, definitely really good. I'm not going to add it because it's not my machine, but I would definitely suggest if you have it to do that. Victor uh, said that he, oh wait. Yeah, he said I'll check the Etsy page as well. Thank you guys so much. I do have, like I said, the Knockbox and the Bean Seller available on there. Uh, on my Etsy page and also on DylanSolmoEspressoBar.com. Any of the proceeds that are, are purchased or any of the proceeds that I earn from these purchases will go right back into the channel for more stuff to review for you guys. I have OCD and this thing's driving me insane. 
Okay, there we go. I don't know why I just saw that. Um, let's see, you can use flow control. All right, so again, appreciate you guys. If there is no more questions, there's 19 of you guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. Um, the, these lives are a little bit longer, but it's for you guys. If you guys have any kind of questions, you guys can ask me live here and on the spot. Uh, with my edited videos, you guys can comment any kind of questions or statements on the video, and I will get back to them, obviously, but they are a bit shorter. So again, if you guys are just tuning in, this is the Quick Mill Anita Evo that was sent to me. It's a heat exchanger machine that was sent to me from um, Joe from Espresso Outlet. So love all your setup. Thank you so much, Linda. Love your setup as well. Style A, I purchased and used Brittany. Oh yeah. So if you guys want this cup, uh, we will link it down in the description below. Um, I'm hoping to, um, to work with this company in the, in the future. I haven't reached out to them yet, but I will. Um, but you can use Brittany, Brittany 20? Brittany L20. Brittany L20 for 20% off for now. And I will try getting us some more discounts in the future. But really, really nice ceramic cup. Really goes well with uh, espresso. And they're handmade, so it's even better. Yeah, from Hong Kong. All right, so is there no more questions? No more that I can see. Awesome. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all of you guys' love and support for the channel. Again, make sure to hit that like button if you guys are catching this after the fact of it being live and it's already pre-recorded. Make sure to hit that like button and just comment down below. If you guys made it this far in the video, even if you guys are watching now and I end the video, comment quick mill and Joe from Espresso Outlet down in the comments below. And um, it would be really, really appreciative. So again, thank you guys so much and I will catch you guys later. Uh, make sure to check out my edited video for the unboxing and also my uh, Workflow Friday video that's coming up on Friday, obviously. So again, next, uh, stay caffeinated guys. I love each and every one of you guys. Again, peace.